11 9 on your side with a children's safety alert tonight. Bounce houses are popular at kids' birthday parties, parks, and festivals. You've probably never thought twice about letting your children play inside. But 9 on your side did some digging and found an alarming number of injuries and the complete absence of federal regulation overseeing bounce house safety. The videos are all over the internet. Get out, get out, it's coming down. Inflatable bouncers blowing away, <laughs> collapsing, <laughs> and keeling over with dangerous consequences. Hello, my name's Cassie, and I'm fine. <laughs> Cassie Stapleton has few memories of her accident. It's these two boats. That her mom, Becky, will never forget. It was really scary. Cassie was two when she and her dad climbed onto an inflatable slide. They went down together, and when they landed, they both bounced up, and he landed on her arm. Cassie went into shock and was rushed to the hospital. People don't really think that it's dangerous. A spike in cases like Cassie sparked Nationwide's Center for Injury Research and Prevention to study inflatable bouncer injuries to children. The results? They increased 1,500% between 1995 and 2010. That's an injury epidemic by any definition. Spokesperson Tracy Meehan says inflatable bouncers sent more than 60,000 children to emergency departments during those 15 years. The injuries are occasionally fatal. We found inflatable bouncers have been blamed for several deaths, including two in Ohio. There isn't a day that doesn't go by that I don't miss him or grieve for him. Kim Johnson's husband was killed in 2010 when this inflatable slide collapsed on top of him outside a Cleveland Indians game. Let's hook it up. Ohio does regulate the industry, inspecting operators like Tony Kalani once a year. When the inspector comes out, I have to go set up all my units um, so he sees them functioning. But he called the state to notify them when he started his business. He says anyone could buy a bouncer, rent it out, without being inspected. I think the bounce house industry has a lot of people that are extremely passionate about safety. Jim Shea says the rules are adequate. He's with ASTM International, an organization that creates standards for thousands of products, including inflatable bouncers. These are very dynamic standards. They're constantly being evaluated. They're constantly being improved. Though voluntary, he says manufacturers and operators usually follow ASTM standards. Last year, Ohio conducted more than 2,000 inflatable bouncer inspections and discovered only nine violations. People who go to the facilities that have these products can be confident that they're being operated safely. What is this? A cast. <laughs> Cassie completely recovered from her broken arm. But the accident <laughs> and incidents like this have Becky convinced parents should consider the consequences before letting their kids play on inflatable bouncers. Now, there are ways to keep your kids safer on inflatable bouncers. Ask to see the state inspection sticker on the bouncer. Make sure the kids inside are about the same age and size. And remember, a bouncer is not a babysitter. An adult should supervise at all times. Carol? Good warning, Clyde. Thanks.